Let's talk about definite integrals. For a lot of us, they can feel like a real chore, just long, tedious calculations. But what if I told you that a ton of them are actually clever puzzles with these beautiful, elegant shortcuts hidden right in plain sight? Well, today, we're going to find them. Okay, take a look at this thing, the integral of x cubed plus sine of x from negative pi to pi. I'm going to give you five seconds to solve it. Ready? Go. Time's up. Now, if your brain immediately started trying to remember antiderivatives and plugging in pi, you were working way too hard. The answer is zero, and you can figure that out almost instantly. So how on earth is that possible? It's not impossible, not if you know the cheat codes. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. We're not just going to be solving problems. We're going to uncover the powerful tricks that let you see the answer, sometimes before you even pick up your pencil. But you know, before we get to the really cool tricks, we have to go over the basic rules of the game. Every good strategy is built on a solid foundation, right? Calculus is no different. So there are three fundamental properties you just gotta have in your back pocket. First, if you flip the limits of integration, you just negate the answer, simple. Second, if you're integrating a bunch of stuff added together, you can just break it apart into separate, smaller integrals, super useful for simplifying things. And third, any constant that's multiplying your function, you can just pull it right out front. Got it? Good. All right, with the basics covered, let's unlock our first real superpower, symmetry. This is where the magic really starts to happen. And it is the absolute key to solving that monster problem from the beginning. The whole idea really boils down to two types of functions, even and odd. An even function, like x squared, is a perfect mirror image across the y-axis. You plug in a negative x, you get the exact same result as if you plugged in a positive x. But an odd function, like x cubed, has this cool rotational symmetry around the origin. You plug in a negative x, and you get the negative of the original function. That simple little test is everything. So let's actually visualize